How far would you go to protect your legacy? Could a single daring woman manipulate the tides of power, love, and betrayal to change the fate of nations? Cleopatra VII, Egypt's last pharaoh, did just that. But what was her final greatest act of defiance? Stick with us until the end to uncover the shocking truth behind her last moments. And if you're fascinated by stories of ancient intrigue, subscribe now to never miss the captivating tales we unravel every Thursday. Imagine a world where power, beauty, and mystery converge in a story that has endured for over two millennia. A tale of ambition, love, and strategic brilliance. Visualize an era where one woman's wit, charm, and determination could reshape the destiny of nations. This is the story of Cleopatra VII, the final pharaoh of Egypt. Cleopatra wasn't just a queen by birth, she was a force of nature, her intelligence and ambition setting her apart from any other monarch of her time. Born in 69 BC in the bustling city of Alexandria, Cleopatra entered a world filled with culture, knowledge, and political tension. She was the daughter of Ptolemy XII, part of a Macedonian Greek dynasty that had ruled Egypt since the conquests of Alexander the Great. From an early age, Cleopatra showed remarkable intelligence and a thirst for knowledge. Unlike many women of her era, she was given an exceptional education, mastering several languages, including Egyptian, Greek, and Latin. Her decision to embrace Egyptian culture, including becoming the first of her lineage to speak the native tongue, connected her deeply to her people making her a true Egyptian queen, unlike her predecessors. But Cleopatra's path to power was far from smooth. After her father's death, she found herself ruling alongside her younger brother, as tradition dictated. Yet this co-rulership was fraught with betrayal, manipulation, and internal strife. Cleopatra's ambition threatened those around her, leading to her exile. But Cleopatra was not one to accept defeat. Determined to reclaim her throne, Cleopatra made a bold move. In 48 BC, with her kingdom slipping away, she orchestrated one of the most audacious acts in political history, meeting the powerful Roman general, Julius Caesar. According to legend, Cleopatra had herself smuggled into Caesar's palace, rolled up inside a carpet. When the carpet was unfurled, there stood Cleopatra, face to face with the man who would help her restore her power. This daring act marked the beginning of a partnership that would reshape both Egypt and Rome. With Caesar's military might behind her, Cleopatra returned to Egypt's throne, not as a co-ruler, but as its sole ruler. Their relationship was more than political. It blossomed into a romance that produced a son, Ptolemy XV, known as Caesarian, whom Cleopatra boldly claimed as Caesar's rightful heir. Under Cleopatra's rule, Egypt flourished, her influence extended beyond the Nile, reaching into the heart of Rome itself. But power came with a price. After Caesar's assassination, Cleopatra found herself at the center of a dangerous and rapidly shifting political landscape. Aligning herself with Mark Antony, one of Caesar's most loyal generals, Cleopatra secured her position. But this new alliance was just as much a love affair as it was a strategic move. Together, they dreamed of building a grand empire that would rival the might of Rome itself. They had three children, cementing their bond both personally and politically. But their ambitions attracted the ire of Octavian, Caesar's adopted son, and the future Emperor Augustus. The rivalry between Antony and Octavian reached its climax at the Battle of Actium in 31 BC, a decisive naval confrontation that would change the course of history. Cleopatra and Antony's forces were crushed, their dreams of a united empire shattered. They retreated to Alexandria, their power slipping through their fingers. In their final days, they faced the harsh reality of their impending doom. Believing Cleopatra to have already taken her life, Antony fell on his own sword in despair. But Cleopatra's story didn't end there. When she learned of Antony's fate and realized that Octavian would soon capture her, she made one last, fateful decision. Rather than face the humiliation of being paraded through Rome as a captive, Cleopatra took her own life, choosing death on her terms, 
reportedly by the bite of a venomous asp. Cleopatra's final act wasn't just about escaping dishonor. It was her ultimate power play, ensuring that even in death her legacy remained untarnished. She refused to become a symbol of Roman conquest, and instead secured her place as a figure of mystery, power, and tragic allure. Cleopatra's life was one of bold moves, relentless ambition, and enduring intrigue. Her story continues to captivate and inspire generations, leaving us to wonder, what would we sacrifice to control our own fate? If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join us again next week for more spellbinding tales from the past. Until then, keep exploring the wonders of history, and may the legends of old guide your path forward.